Yo, yo. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fittest crip of them all? So look. Healthy mind, healthy body. Them things do correlate. Because I've never seen somebody with a healthy mind has an unhealthy body. You know, um, in order to achieve to have a healthy body, you have to have discipline, which is healthy. S sacrifice, which is healthy. The drive, have the drive, which is healthy. Ability to be able to say no and make the right decisions at all times, which is healthy. All that is healthy. It's healthy for you, healthy for your mind, healthy for your body. Because what you intake not only affects your body, it affects your mind. You know, a lot of the times, a lot of the mental struggles people have, diet has something to do with it. A lot of the, a lot of the, the dark thoughts as far as like the actions that I used to partake in that was contrary to where I wanted to go. I was unhealthy, but when I started sitting over there and having a, and putting better things in my body, my mind started being clear. My mind started being better. I started sitting over there thinking clear and started really just seeing where I wanted to be at. I seen my, my destination. So, yes, I would have to say that as soon as I became uh, healthy inside, it, it changed. Not only did it change my thought process, change my body, it changed everything in my life. Every single thing, it changed it. You know, um, it's a thin line. You know, just because somebody looks healthy on the outside doesn't mean that they're healthy on the inside, of course. But we didn't say, when we said healthy mind equal healthy body, we didn't say because, it looked, because you look healthy. No, we talking about within. Just because you sit over there and have a, a six pack and swole as hell or whatever the case may be. They could still have mental issues, but you got to look at it though. They be letting food whoop they ass. They just work out. They sit over there, you know what I mean? And eat all that BS and they sit over there and go through things, go through dark thoughts, go through things that's contrary to what health is and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But I was over there watching uh, something uh, with Warren Buffett. And pretty much it was steps. Pretty much, on, I think, what was it? Steps that the, uh, pretty much that the rich, that, that the rich took in order to sit over there and become rich. And he used having a healthy body. He stated that having a healthy body was essential. So if we got this Warren Buffett, whose pockets is fat as hell, telling you that health is wealth. So if the rich telling you this, anybody who lives a lifestyle is telling you this, why are you not implying? Don't don't. But everybody wants to sit over there and be financially on top. But you had to make sacrifices. Why do you think them little corporate people be hopping in the gym at 5 o'clock in the morning?
they understand that the gym and working out plays a factor in their thought process and making good decisions to be able to continue to grow their wealth. How the hell are you going to have wealth if you don't have health? Health is wealth. How the hell are you going to even enjoy your wealth when you're sitting spending all your money on trying to take care of your health? Doesn't make any damn sense. Today's the day that I hope a lot of y'all sit over there and make the change for a better life. Make today be the day. I just wanted to talk to y'all real brief. You know, maybe I might do a live on this soon. But I just wanted to talk to y'all real briefly about it. But y'all like, comment, and subscribe for the low. We out.